These right here are the Castle Arts Gold Pencils, and I'm really looking forward to testing these out actually, because I've heard some really good things about them. So let's just dive straight into the video. So let's open up the box and see what we've got inside. Oh, we've got a nice little tin. Is it gonna come out? Oh, indeed. Oh my goodness, look at this. Very fancy box. So now just to clarify, they are not all gold colored. They are, that's just like the name of the series. There's 72 different colors in here. And I think maybe if we, yeah, on the back here, we have all the different colors that we've got in the set. So that looks like a nice variety of colors to basically draw anything that you could possibly want. Now let's just remove the film. Oh, right. So we've got a little help slip just in case. A color and product guide. So this looks like it's just got some of the other products in the castle range. Yep, that's what that is. What have we got here? We've got a step-by-step -step guide to creating the castle gold freeze. What's the freeze? Oh, oh, it's like a big, what? Oh, what? It, it's like a, I can't open this. I reckon, no, we'll just put it that way. We want to see the pencils. Right, what's this? Gold standard selection. I reckon this is just like a kind of instruction guide. Yep, that looks like it's filled with like more information on like how to use them, blending, how light works, color stuff and all that cool stuff. But you know what? I'm an artist. We don't need the instructions. Be gone. Oh, that didn't sound good. We also have a color swatch sheet. So let's say you want to go and test your colors so that you know exactly what you've got before going onto your drawing. Now, I don't like to do this. I like to just go straight onto my drawing and just test them there because you know, I'm living on the edge. And here we have our pencil. So just take off this little tissue paper and look at these. They've got a weird pencil smell to them, but it's not a bad smell. It's like a good, like new pencil smell. And they feel really cool as well. They've got like a velvety feel to them and they actually feel pretty cool. And look at this, nice oily lead. And the oily leads mean that they blend together really well too. So I reckon that we should just get straight into testing. So to test out these pencils, I'm going to be drawing this insane Lamborghini Hurricane. So I started by spending just over an hour doing a sketch, and then I went and hit it with the alcohol markers. And I was really questioning whether to actually use markers on this drawing, as I wanted it to be a true test of the gold pencils. However, whenever you do like colored pencil work on white paper, I would always strongly recommend having a marker base. And this is so that the colors on top appear a lot more vibrant as they're not being tinted by the white of the paper. So here you go, after about four and a half hours, we are finally ready to start using these gold colored pencils on this Lambo drawing. Now I obviously had very high hopes for these pencils. However, when I started to properly use them on this car, it all started to fall apart. Now I don't know whether it's down to the leads being quite soft because I did find this and I was having to sharpen them quite a bit more than I would with like other pencil brands or whether I was just being particularly heavy handed or whether it was just down to the paper that I was using because it was quite smooth so it's harder for the pigments to actually grip hold of it. But it was really hard to use layers with these pencils and layers are really important when it comes to doing realistic drawings because what you want to do is you want to firstly come in with like an intermediary color, just pick up some details, jot in some shadows and then you want to blend all of that with a lighter color and then you come back in with a darker color to add in some more contrast and some more details but with these pencils that was really quite hard because the page became oversaturated very quickly with like three even just two layers so what was happening is I was doing like the detail layer then smoothing it and then when I came back in with that dark pencil to add in the details and stuff the darker pencil just kind of like made a really blotchy mark or just no mark at all and this was particularly noticeable when I did the windshield and there was like a logo on the windshield itself and I really wanted to to go around it with a dark pencil just to really bring it out but I just couldn't do that because I'd already gone over it with the light color so it was too oversaturated and that black pencil just didn't make a mark. Now I do feel a bit mean because Castle Arts did really generously send me a pack of these to test out and I'm not exactly being very nice about them. So I now want to move on to some of the absolute cool things that I found about these pencils and the first thing is just the price. They're super affordable for like people who are just looking to try and come into like pencil arts and stuff and they are pretty high quality as well because you can't actually get like oil based pencils at this kind of price. So it's all very well me complaining about these pencils, but you can't really um, compare them to those more expensive ones because they're in like a completely different category and almost targeting a different market. Something else that's worth pointing out is this pack of 72 that I have pretty much has every single color that you could possibly need to draw anything you want because these will blend together really nicely to create a multitude of other different colors. So no matter what color you need, you can make it with these pencils. And they are definitely an upgrade from like a traditional wax based pencil because oils, they just have that extra bit of smoothness to them and these gold pencils definitely have that as long as you don't use too many layers. So this is looking pretty cool but something that I want to do now is just come in with a colorless alcohol marker to see if I can get rid of that uh, blotchiness and the paper grains but before I go onto the actual drawing I'm just going to go and test it on the side here. So I put a lighter and a darker blue next to one another and then I went over the intersection with a colorless blender and what do you know it works fine. So I then went over to the actual drawing itself and then started to use it over the top of the pencil work to just try and get rid of that blotchiness and graininess 
and it didn't really work. And it was a case of like, oh, I've started it, I may as well just do the entire piece with it, but it was a bit pointless and a waste of time. And the final stage on this card drawing was adding in the highlights with a white paint pen and boom. So here you go, after over 15 hours of drawing, this is the final result of my test with Castle Arts gold pencils. And if I'm being honest, despite me moaning like constantly about these pencils, I am super happy with the results here. I mean, they do look pretty cool. The colors are super vibrant. And at the price point that they're at, I think that they are probably one of the best entry pencils that you can get. So if you'd like to try them out, I have them linked down in the description. And if you'd like to see more drawing videos just like this one, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and I shall see you in the next one, which should appear somewhere on the screen right now. And I shall see you over there.